distinguished chancellor, distinguished president, honored guest, ladies and gentlemen. I give you my warmest thanks for the continued and sincere cooperation of McMaster University in the development of Sharjah University. I thank you also for the great honor you do me today and for giving me the opportunity to speak at this graduation ceremony. At this time, this time, the terrible time in the world, especially for Arabs. I am an Arab. I am a Muslim. And I am a true believer in God. The Quran says, we believe in God and in that which has been sent down to us and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and Jacob, and the tribes, and in that given to Moses and Jesus and to all prophets by their Lord, we make no distinction between any of them. Although at first I hesitated, I came from the east, across the ocean, and as it were against its currents, with weak arms and the waves of the distrust crashing in my face and in my back, a deep and bleeding wound from long time. But I came and threw my weak body on the shores of your understanding stretching out my arms to be taken in, and I found myself where I am today. My land is the holy land, where the prophets walked and taught. My people gathered in the wisdom of their own and other civilization, added to it and developed it, and gave Europe a beacon to light its way out of the dark age and to the Renaissance. My people gave the sciences to the West, chemistry, physics, astronomy, algebra, and others. The numbers used today come from us. And we presented you with the zero. And Mr. Chancellor, where would we today without the zero? about these things, we do not want to boost, but I say them to show that we are not so ignorant. Then the Arab nation suffered greatly from occupation to occupation, and we entered our own dark age. And nowadays, the world is full of blood, hatred, deceit, and injustice. We must all come together in the same way that the Quran reaches out to Christians with these words, O oh, people of the book, come to a world that is common between us, that we worship only God. If we cannot do this, I pray, O oh, Jesus, word of God, come down. For our world is full of injustice and blood. Come down. We love you and we will follow you. Come down. Fill our earth with peace. Come down. Peace upon you at your birth. Peace upon you at your death. Peace upon you when you rose again. Now let me say a few words to the, to the graduates gathered here today and to their parents. The parents deserve our congratulations for the vital part they have played in bringing their children to this happy result. Our warm congratulations to the graduates go hand in hand with our hopes for their future. You are leaving to take your place in a world of some, sometimes harsh realities. You are coming to a fork in life's road 
and will have the choice to take the high road or the easy descent into the devil's arms. Take the high road is not always easy. There will be storms that bring down those without roots, while those with deep roots will survive. Remember that your deepest roots are in your relations with your parents. But most of all, today and forever, be proud and be happy. Thank you.